Alright, so we want to take out the guy in purple first. He's the commando. He's going commando. Good. <laughs> Why does it say commando instead of commander? I don't know. Garak commando. That Garak is like, you weren't supposed to tell anyone I wasn't wearing undies today. What is this? Yay! <laughs> Dagrin has actual pants. There we go. Gone is the stripper Dagrin. He's like, these are now a lot heavier. Belts, belts, and belts. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I gotta keep my new pants up. <laughs> Think I got enough belts? Never. Could you imagine your pants falling down in um, combat? Just oh my god. Trying to hold it with one hand, spar with the other. That'd be funny. I feel like that should be in like men in tights. <laughs> Holding your hands up. Well, I think that's why they wear tights. No. Yeah. Tight tights. Tight tights. There are scratches All right. So in the last part, we got a key. And it's somewhere in this ship. Oh, you haven't seen the episode. There's an episode of Supernatural where they have the key. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's mm -hmm. the episode is called The French Mistake. Okay. So it's Jared and Jensen acting like Sam and Dean, acting like Jared and Jensen, oh, that acting episode. like Sam and yeah, Dean. Yeah, you told me this. So, and they have to pretend to be really bad actors. So Jared is like, if there's a key, there must be a lock. And I'm like, he puts his hands up like he's in Shakespeare. And it's just really funny. So my brain just went, there must be a lock. All right, so we have a map that leads to the Garak base. We're taking the fight to them. For all this, that we are. The ship's repairs are almost complete. As soon as we're ready, we'll head for the Garak base. You ready? All right. We have our heading. Myself, Still curious Zale, about the uh, Zale's whale Verania. tail going on. You stand by to take action well, if anything happens. Maybe to in us. a couple parts I'll address Understood. that as well. Yeah. <laughs> For now, Dagrin has pants. pants. Yeah, <laughs> that's the most important thing right now. <laughs> is that his little short shorts are no longer <laughs> short. Nope. I think it's funny that you like <laughs> you were like what? And I was like, he's wearing assless chaps with short shorts. Because I was looking at the stats. I wasn't looking at any of the like visuals. <laughs> and you were like, what? And I was like, look at him. <laughs> and then I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, she she may have a point there. Get that man some pants. <laughs> well, we got that man some pants. Okay. Yeah. All right, you. You want to say a little announcement? Ah, oh, yes. So um, this is coming a few days before uh, that this video actually airs. So we are engaged. Yup. Yes. We're engaged, puppers. Um, so you pop the question a little bit uh -huh. before July 4th. Yep. Um, yes, we're very excited. Mm -hmm. Got a pretty ring and yes, all that. Yes, it's so sparkly. <laughs> just like i'm gonna wait for it to blind me when i'm and driving and um, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> at the start of year three we're gonna do a short video just saying like the few small changes yeah we're gonna be doing there's not forward. gonna be too many like massive changes no not too doing. much yeah. um, but we're also gonna focus on like if we miss a day it's okay yeah we're just gonna be focused on hey if we have an idea if we'll devote time to that idea if we want a break we'll have a break yeah. if we're sick we'll rest right and so, <laughs> we're not gonna be like gotta get a video out yeah this past like, year we've had some scenario, stressful days I'll put a short together and be like there yeah. we go um this past year we've had some stressful days of like just burnouts and and things of like especially for you making video after video and it's mm -hmm. it's just um really stressful and now with some life changes yeah uh you know that kind of stuff has we're gonna, to go on the back burner not even necessarily the back burner but it's just priorities you know um, priorities Jafar. because priorities we really want to devote some more time into the ideas that we do have instead of like oh, i'll just get it done you yeah, know. definitely. Also, like, the games that I'm working on. I want to give that more time as well. Yeah, and so writing books. And we have mentioned paintings. this before. Um, we will be starting a Discord server shortly, 
which is just for us to communicate. It's what the Facebook group was supposed to be, yeah. but it didn't and really work. We'll still have the Facebook group. Um, just because it's easier to keep it than to try and get rid of it. That's fair. Um, but I'm going to focus more that's of That's going to be more for memes and, yeah. you know, sharing videos we're really proud of. and. Whereas the Discord is going to have, like, probably, like, little chat rooms for, like, yeah, each of the and... uh, topics we cover. But also, like, general chat and, like, something for our puppers to show off what they do. Yeah. Whether it's composed music, drawings fanfic really this is videos of their own yeah because this is you know kind of like a little time capsule for us but Mm -hmm. we do care about you guys as well yes we want to know what you're doing and what you're creating and well that's a defense i made when uh my co-worker was just like popcorn's cool half of it's good and i'm just like you are talking about the game and cats and dogs he's like yeah it's not my thing i'm like that's more for us yeah as like time capsules and less for this is our best quality entertainment yeah <laughs> well not only that it helps me see games that i tried to play and either couldn't play or didn't enjoy actually playing but yeah. wanted to see what wanted it's to about see more of it mm-hmm. um like shantae and the pirates curse yeah hat in time Although I think you'd enjoy a hat in time. It's I feel like I would enjoy because some of hat in time. You can it's a platformer obviously, but like there's not that much punishment. Yeah. Um All right, so we're sneaking into the Garak base. Dun, dun, dun. We got ourselves a scout. A sentry. A sentry, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, so we'll cover all that fun stuff for year 3. Mhm. So look forward to that. For now, Dum, 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 <laughs> He's got dum. his own theme music. All right. Let's go for a headshot. Splish! Splish! I've told you about... Because, like, in The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, there's mm. a mini game where you basically play Battleship, and if you miss, the character goes, Splish! Aww. But it's cool because, like, he has, like, a, a paper... um. A portrait cut out, and he puts his head it's through. And it'd be like, I am the Admiral. The hell is like, that smell? Oh, I am the, <laughs> the sailors! With you I'm the villagers! Zale. That's funny. Can't you it, it's so anything? cool because um, that's a game. Up until Breath of the Wild, Zelda games didn't have voice acting. Hold it. Okay. But they just had such oh, expressive it. characters. Yeah. Like the dialogue and just like the little noises they could make with like sploosh. Yeah. God's asleep. So cool. It's actually something that I feel was lost when they put in the voice acting. Was like those little nuances of like character. Well, because I I definitely think whenever there is no voice acting, which don't get me wrong, it is really cool whenever these games do include voice acting because it it adds a lot of personality as well. Yeah. But I think whenever there is no acting in it and it's just the character and their expressions and their movements, Mm -hmm. It's because they you you can make them however you want. Yeah. You can interpret that expression in any way that you deem. Fit. Yeah, it's similar Whereas, to like people that's just like the book's better. Yeah. Because because it's how have you see it. Yep. And it's everything that you want it to be. Um, whereas as soon as you put an actor in, it's no longer in you know your interpretation. It's yeah. how they interpret what that means. So I think that that's why like so characters like Link question. are more popular than characters like Sonic. Yeah, I can definitely get behind that. Um, would you like the last story more if it was a book? Would you keep turning Probably. the pages? Okay. Probably, yeah. Um, mainly because again, I I talk about this a lot in some of our playthroughs, but I have like a weird hang up when it comes to costumes mm-hmm. and um like the appearance mixed with the personality of characters where it, it is judgmental on my account and it is something i'm working on <laughs> um in my personal daily life <laughs> but i think there's no one here if i were to be reading down. it as opposed it to like watching it mm-hmm. i wouldn't be as hung up okay well all right then is there a novella part of the last story probably not it wasn't popular enough there, there's a novella for uh, Final Fantasy 15, which was originally supposed to be the last half of the game. Yeah. <laughs> they, they were just, hey, we're tired of making this game. Let's just put it in a box. <laughs> oh, do you want to see how it all comes together? Just buy this book. That is something that I would actually really, really like to do. 
hey, um, if you like it, that's cool. That pissed me the fuck no, off. No, no, maybe not. Like, if I was playing these games and then all of a sudden they're like, you have to read a book. I'd be like, what the fuck? That literally but, prevented me from um, finishing the base game. Because <laughs> I'm just like, oh, well, if you finish it in a book, fuck you. But no, something that I would like to do is take the stories from either animes, cartoons, or games. Yeah. And write them as, like, a light novel. That'd which is something that, like, is available. infringement, but... Well, no, people actually do it. There's a lot of hoops you have to jump through. Okay. And permissions you have to have, but, like... Um, because they do that with manga a lot. Okay. They'll take the manga and instead of, like, reading it like a comic book um, type thing with a lot of images as opposed to, like, reading words, they'll turn it into a book. Okay. Get a load of this thing. It's called a light novel. What are you? Yeah, because it has, like, a furry underside, but it has, like, plate armor all along. Uh-oh. It dropped off the cavalry. All righty. All right, so we want to take out the guy in purple first. He's the commando. He's going commando. <laughs> Why does it say commando instead of commander? I don't know. Garak Commando. That Garak is like, you weren't supposed to tell anyone I wasn't wearing undies today. <laughs> He's alone now! <laughs> nice. All right, so we took out the Commando. This will be a little easier. Still pretty tricky because we got healers and mages, but it'll be a little easier because he can call in reinforcements. Uh, the floor is lava? What's going on there? Oh, a damage circle. Okay. So you the gradually floor take... is lava? <laughs> like, the floor is lava! What's going on here, Dagron? <laughs> Help! All right. So we're going to give commands and see if we can... Ah, uh, that's what I want. Reverse. Reverse, reverse! <laughs> Cha-cha now, y'all. Everybody clap your hands. Woohoo! Did you like that backflip? I do somersault. Good. So does he still have his weird, like, little blue arm power? Yes. The power of the outsider. Okay. When I use it, it draws all the enemies towards me. Yeah. Because whenever I was playing, that's, like, the only thing I use. <laughs> and I think that's why I did so poorly. <laughs> you kind of have to balance it out. So, like, when there's a lot of enemies or, like, if your allies are in, in a pickle, you use the outsider and it draws them to you. But you also don't want to be overwhelmed yourself because yeah. you're just one guy. It's like Rin's blue flame. But um, you see that like skills bar where there's like four yeah. bars and stuff. When it's full, I can give commands. Okay. But like each time I use a skill, that gets rid of one of the bar. Like I just did okay. the Gale Rush. Yeah. That got rid of one of the bars. Now it's constantly filling, so like it's not something you have to use an item to replenish. Okay. It just fills over time. But when it's full, that's when you can give commands. There we go. And we gained a level. Now we learned vertical slice. This is an awkward goddamn skill. <laughs> Does he just like whoop? So basically, you got to run up against a wall, and then you slam down. Ah. <laughs> but it doesn't always work. Well. I'd be like running against a wall, and it'd be like, well, Zale? <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, there's a fucking wall here. Get on up there. Knees to chest. My mom used to say that. <laughs> she was a bus driver. Mm -hmm. And she was pretty ruthless, man. Like, yep. if she saw one of her kids walking towards the bus, like, they weren't at the stop on time, mm -hmm. she was like, knees to Chester, I'm leaving. <laughs> 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 like, these kids had to be running or else she'd, she'd leave. To the hustle. I don't think she ever actually left, but she would, like, start to drive until they'd start running. And then she'd I think stop it's again. from Everybody Loves Raymond. AIS. What? Ass in seat. Ah. And like he's like, I did that with you kids all the time. And Raymond does it to Deborah. And then his dad's like, you don't do that to the wife. That's suicide. Oh my god. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh. he goes to the party and it's just like, where's Deborah? Nah, I left her. And it's just like, oh, you left her? Wow, that's ballsy. I don't think I have the testicles for that. I'd be afraid to come home. And then Raymond's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 About that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no! Slacking on the job. I can't give away our cover. 
Well, I was going to say that's a civilian, is it not? Yes, it's a civilian. Hold it together. Nope. What's she thinking? Oh God. Good Damn. job, Callista. They have a cave troll. Sail. Let's go. We've got a jar of dirt. Now, this is actually very interesting. The dagger and scolds her. Acting on your own will get us all killed. Well, yeah, they. Want. She just gave up if their position. Die, mm -hmm. Dagrin, that's enough. How many times have you done the same thing? But that's. This is a battlefield. She gets no special treatment. If she's got a dagger. Dagrin be spitting facts. Yeah. <laughs> There's no reason for us to die too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There, she healed us. You happy now? <laughs> She's a healer. She's allowed to give our position away. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. Because, like, she did it because they were going to watch an innocent person be executed. Yeah. And it's like, I, I can understand that point of view, being like, no, stop. So much fun. But I can also understand, like, listen, it's that one person or your entire team. Yep. <laughs> like, yeah, sometimes that happens. Like, Dagrin said, it's like, how many people in the past have done that and we lost them? Yeah. Or we lost someone because of that. So, like, for Dagrin, this is like second nature. He's been through so many missions yeah. as a mercenary. And, like, Zale's more or less a new recruit, but he's been through a couple rounds himself. Yeah. Callisto, this is her first time. Right. First so, it's time. very much like, hey, don't do that shit. Yeah. But it's also thinking and she's And now because like, of that, we're separated. She's a part of the royal family as well, so she's probably never seen someone die. Yeah. Whereas Dagrin's probably like, well, I'm yeah. So yeah, That's number 62. Like, <laughs> another tally on the checklist. Your fault. You shouldn't have had to see that. And Zale's blaming himself because he brought her along. But I asked you to take me. Naturally. You didn't do anything wrong. Oh, he's in deep shit when they get back to the capital. I bought his earrings. <laughs> his earrings? Yeah. Even if you hadn't asked okay. to. I didn't equip those. I think those are just yeah. his earrings. Well, he also has the dangly one. Because I made one that looks like that. It has, like, it's the black yeah. rectangle with the yeah, white you angel. you showed me that. I really like the feather aesthetic. Something about it, just, like, mm -hmm. in the hair is really cool. I used to wear a feather in my hair when I was in high school and I got called Pigeon Girl. Pigeon Girl? Because it was before the, like, the feather hair accessory trend. I gotcha. That happened in, like, 2015 or something. You're not cool enough to start the trend. I did that trend six years before it was a trend and got called Pigeon Girl. Uh-oh. I don't think those pants are better. I mean... Maybe. Like, he's still wearing pants. Those, those are... Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Found Dagrin's old pants. Hand Hand-me-downs. I mean, they're kind of like Let's boy go. band thin, but we'll they work. The Skinny jeans. Right. Got enough pouches, though? Thank you. I guess I really am troubled. That's where I keep all the potions. <laughs> bloop, bloop. I'm kind of afraid to be next to you. Well, he has to have what? lots of pockets because girl pants don't have pockets. So it's can always like, hey, can you hold this? Here? That is very yeah. true. Wow. Zale has an no. ass. <laughs> Those pants. <laughs> <laughs> What is the costume design in this game? I have no idea. What is this? The Bridge of Khaza Doom? You shall not pass! I feel like this game does the opposite of what most games do. Like, all of the girls are, like, nicely clothed. Yeah. They're actually wearing clothes. Yes. They're not just like, oh, here's a chainmail bikini. Good luck. Um, it's like how I felt with Blue Exorcist before that character showed up, yeah. and I was just like, well, easy come, easy go. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, all the women are, like, nicely clothed and everything. They have cool costumes, but, like, the men are always, like, half naked. Or yeah. Boy band. Or chaps or, or something weird. I'm very much getting a boy band aesthetic, which, oddly enough, that also reminds me of, like, Final Fantasy XV, because it's just yeah. four guys. They look roughly the same because they look like a boy band. And, like, it's all about future king yeah. and like there's a bit more than that but like i'm very bitter that they split up the story between an anime a movie a book, a book. <laughs> and i'm just like eh, you ruined it but i also get that like it was a game well over a decade in development yeah and the publisher was probably like all right this shit like, gotta it's get gotta out. go out or you know like i get that like it's very ambitious they were, and you've been they were playing this for a while but like 
this shit gotta hit shelves. Yeah. Because when it first came out, it was called Final Fantasy Versus 13. It was the alternate Final Fantasy 13. Well, Final Fantasy 13 came out, then 14, and they're just like, all right, this has to hit shelves. But it's not done. All right, Don't you're no longer directing this project. Yeah. You are. Finish this project. Yeah. And it's just like, well, I'll just the strap this to together. Uh, we'll do some DLC later. Uh, we'll do a tie-in movie with this aspect, and we'll put the rest in a book. W works for me. See, I feel like I would be less angry about the book part if it wasn't important to the game. So, like, it's if the finale. It, it's it's yeah. where everything builds to. So, it's like, I feel like if it was, for example, like, right now, we don't really know much about, like, Callista's background. Mm -hmm. So, say we never do. Mm -hmm. Say, like, it's unimportant to the story and the game and whatever, and she's just part of the team now, and that's that. Yeah. And then they're like, Oh, we could make more money. Let's put her backstory in a book. Okay. That I'd be like, okay, cool. Because okay. you don't need to read the book to play the game. Exactly. But if I like needed to read the book to play the game, I would be like, like I play video games because I don't like to read, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> Which I wholeheartedly agree with. I think everybody loves to read. It's just you're reading the wrong things. I can get behind that. Just like I'm more into like beasteries and like you appendices like you and like stuff things like that. that will teach you something. Yeah. Whereas Oddly I want, enough. I want to escape the world into a new world mm -hmm. and deal with their problems. Yeah. Something about that is just slow for me. I don't oh like God. following I, characters through a book. I can I deva I like. So it is now July sixth at the time of recording. Yes. I've read 54 books this year. Congrats. And it's only July. <laughs> so, and I did take like a couple weeks break mm -hmm. where I didn't read anything because I was kind of burnt out from the same plots and things like that. So I just yeah. took a break. I hear that. So I read. <laughs> I know you do. I can devour books. Here I am being like, we did 10 Let's Plays in a year. I read 50 books. All right, those are rookie numbers. Well, <laughs> I can also read a book in a day, and it's really hard to finish a, you know, 60-hour game in a day. <laughs> a game like this? Yeah, it's hard. But, like, some of the shorter games, like Bonk's Adventure, I did that in a weekend. Well, I also count audiobooks and, like, my reading. Yeah. Because um, I am still completing a book. And uh, so that 54 does include the audiobooks that I listen to while I'm driving. You mm -hmm. can't play a video game while you're driving. Please don't. Don't even try it. Like, I listen to books oh. whenever I'm painting. We so. get to see General Ashtar in action. Mm. Yeah. Just took out a griffin in one swipe. That's why he's General Motherfucking Ashtar. <laughs> Sir Therius, you have much to learn to be as badass as I. Does he have pants on? I'll have to check next time we see him. That's going to be my new thing. Who's We're going to see more of Sertharius and General Ashtar. Well, the bad guys, the they have full plate armor. Well, that that bad guy wasn't wearing pants. He was wearing like a little metal a little cloth. skirt. Hmm. I'm okay. I feel like these are Seren's pants. <laughs> <laughs> I just get that urge. He does have a donk, though. <laughs> Thick with two Cs. Whoopsies! Hey, we please all genders on popcorn. <laughs> if you like that, hey, women. If, if they have a nice butt, it like is okay bum. to be like they have a nice butt. Yeah. Like. Oh no! Look at all those archers. And it's just oh, Yurik's here. Okay, cool. We have a mage on our side. I think we can do this. Oh, does this mean that general... The nice thing about archers is before they can uh, spot you, you can take them out with like one swipe. Huh. It's not like a command. Oh, Yurik's already down. God damn it. Way to go, Yurik. That's the rough thing about like non turn based RPGs. It's a lot harder to keep an eye on your healer or yeah. your mage. Be like, are you still with us? I think that's actually that's whereas in turn base it's just like I'll cast protect on the mage. Yeah, I think that's something. Hey, quit attacking my mage. Fundamentally, I don't know that I like where you cannot control 
your other party members. You can't have them attack a certain way or dodge a certain way or get yeah, out of the way. I can give them commands, but, still but take, only when my skills yeah, are like fully. But they still take damage. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if I like that. Whereas, well, like, I, I bring it a, similar to no. that. No. No, it's not. If I'm not playing as that character, they don't take damage. Oh, okay. So I have to be playing as the character for them to take damage. So basically, in a really difficult battle, I can like play my main character until they're almost dead, switch to a new character that has full health until they're almost dead, and then oh. keep switching characters. Um, I All cannot right. switch my party, though, mid-battle. Okay. But yeah, they don't take damage if I'm not playing as them. Then Trials of Mana was like that. Yes. Because I know you had to keep trials them. Trials of Mana like, is hey, like that. They'll die. Stay there, folks. They don't take as much damage. No, they don't. But I don't like if you can't control a character mm -hmm. or have them move or whatever that they can die. Whereas, I, like, I in a turn-based like RPG, much. you control the whole part. Yeah. So, so like, it would make sense, like for all of their right. lives, because everyone gets a turn. So, so it makes just sense like, because you can choose you can choose like I'm gonna cast a protection spell on my party, yep, and then that's your turn. Dragon Quest Eleven is yeah. like that, where like if you do things wisely oh, and utilize dead. every single character. Oof, at least I got another life for Zale. That's because of this damn damage floor. But. Yeah, I don't think I like that, that you can't control your party, but they still die. Yeah. And they can only die so many times before it's permadeath. Is that correct? I don't know if it's permadeath. I know if Zale dies and loses all of his life, his lives, it's game over. Okay. But I don't know if, like, for, let's say, Dagrin loses all of his lives, if it's just for that battle. Okay. And you can't bring him back, or if it's permanently per until you, like, get to a save point or something. Okay. Because I know it's not permadeath. Permadeath is a Fire Emblem thing where it's okay. just like, oh, you lost that recruit, they're, they're gone. Yeah, you can't bring You move back. forward. Either recruit more people or start over. Yeah. Whereas, that's kind of something that most people are like, eh, with, with newer Fire Emblem. It's just yeah. like, now it's an option to where like, oh, you don't have permadeath. It's like, but that makes What's it easier. I'm like, it's an option. If you want yeah. permadeath, turn it the fuck back on. Yeah. People don't like permadeath, so they can turn, turn it, it off. off. <laughs> I'll never understand why people get pissed off over options. It's a button. Just like the Casual easy. mode, easy yeah. mode, beginner mode. Why is there an easy mode? Because I want to play it too. <laughs> like, that's why. Then get good, scrub. <laughs> like, whatever. And I don't think I will ever get to a, a point where, like, I can be as good as someone else, no matter how much I practice, mm -hmm. just because I have poor depth perception. Mm -hmm. I cannot tell how far away something is in the game. Like, that is why I often run off cliffs or I'm fall off honest. ledges or... For me, I have too many games I want to play to, like, perfect a game. Yeah. There's some games that I'm into where it's just, like, I can get better. And there's games like this or Boyne is Blah, where it's just, just like, play it good enough. Then, yeah, and then shelve it. Um, I don't care if I get all the, like, best stats and the best equipment and, like, I'm able to, like, kill a boss without taking a hit. Yeah. Don't care about that. I'm people do that that's cool it's a nice challenge for yourself not my cup of tea i feel like the only type of game that i would want to do that with is something like the original donkey kong yeah where it's three levels it's short it's sweet it's to the point where it's like one hit you die so it's just like yeah. can you beat it without dying yeah so okay. like can you beat it without dying or like how quickly can you do it? How many points can you get? Mm -hmm. So, like, whenever it's a short game like that is when I can see, like, oh, that'd be fun to have, like, a competition, like, how quickly can we get this done? Or, um, you know, can you make it the whole way without dying? Okay. Um, because it's so short. But in yeah. a game like this, yeah, I'm sorry. Like, I'm already dropping 40 hours into a game. Like, yeah. I'm not going to worry about those yeah. nitty gritties. So this is one of the things that I like to call, boy, this would be a lot more fun if I could play it. Oh. <laughs> you get to ride these griffins, but it's all cutscene. This will happen a lot in video games, especially modern vi video games. I'll be like, oh, that looks cool. I'd like to play it, but it looks cool. <laughs> I wonder if it's just a funding issue. A what? Funding. Like it's cheaper to make it a cutscene than to make it playable. Possibly. I mean, you don't have to worry about physics or like yeah. mechanics or gameplay or anything. It's just like, hey, it's a cutscene. Mm, you have a good eye. Get everyone.
I mean, he kind of has pants. Hit that platform with magic. <laughs> Help me draw that I'm looking at everyone's pants now. I know. <laughs> I was checking the griffins. They're, they're really cool. They are cool. They have a very nice design. Yeah. I like that they have armor. I like that little bit. It's like, Dagrin, hold them off. And Dagrin goes, giving me orders. All right, then. <laughs> just shows like a growth from the beginning when Dagrin was the one giving orders. And Alzale's just like, Dagrin, do this. And it's just like, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> when I said you can give orders, it's you give orders to them. I'm not included in that. Little Padawan. Oh, my God. <laughs> Zale, you're still a scrub. I was talking to uh, my manager because I am uh, getting promoted. I so differences. I will be allowed to tell people what to do. Yay! And hey. uh, <laughs> kind of like give feedback uh -huh. in a way that's not like, hey, act your wage. Um, cool. We got snipers. But I was telling her, I was like, listen, I still want them to be comfortable telling me if I'm doing something wrong or if I missed something. <laughs> so we like purposefully missed something in our last clothes ah. and i asked um our opener i was like hey how was the clothes and she was like oh it was great like, uh -oh. was there anything off I mean, that shit. um and it wasn't anything like that it was just more or less like oh man we forgot the sandwiches she was like oh yeah you know it's fine it was just a sandwich left over and i was like okay you know it's cool to tell us that like that way we mm -hmm. make sure that we're checking it next time like it's okay to tell us that we missed something I'm, just like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm more okay with that like, because like that's yeah part it's, of it's not like an ah oh, gotcha you like in charge of it yeah what i hate absolutely despise is when like an upper management or someone yeah. you don't fucking know comes in as a shitty customer oh, and, like no. that's your test no it's like go fuck yourself i don't care who you are it you was... talk to me like that i'm gonna talk to you right back yeah it was more because my manager i was talking to her and i was like i was worried that they weren't gonna tell me if i missed something or if i was doing something wrong mm -hmm. or um like the quality wasn't where it should be like i still want them to be able to like come to me and be like hey listen this wasn't really done all that great. Okay. And then I can either explain why or do it better. So that was just me seeing like, okay, are they still gonna treat me the same or are they gonna pretend like I'm perfect? So look how how many allies we have now. Lots. Kalista, Dagrin, Yorick, Ashtar, and Therius. I like this team better than the one with the drum <laughs> She can stay wherever. Where is she? Uh, She's back in Lazulus Island. So like we boarded a Garak ship Oh. Whereas, like, they stayed in the city. Okay. So we'll see Seren and Lal when we return to the city. They're still at the bar. Yeah, still at the bar. Gang bang and whatever. There you go. All right. So now that we're in the main base, we're going to, well, infiltrate more of it in the next part. All right. Toodles.